All right, so right now I want to show you how to enable your security authenticator so that to secure your funds. So this is strictly for people that maybe are doing Naira withdraw uh, crypto withdrawal or uh, e wallet. So if you're making deposit of withdrawal using e wallet or crypto to do this. So the first thing you need to verify your account, obviously. Once your account is verified, you'd see this big button here called enable. So um, you just click on it. So the moment you click on it, the first thing you would be asked to do is to verify your email. So what you do is you click on this verify. So when you click on verify, you see this pop up and you click on send code. So when you click on send code, an email will be sent to you. So once the email is sent to you, you copy the code and paste it here. So let's see if it has uh, been sent. Okay, it has been sent already. So two minutes ago, okay, this is it. So you copy this number, you copy and you paste it here. Okay, so when you paste, that is the first one. You'd see it will be verified. So now the next thing to do is you click on security authenticator app. So now it's time to enable this. Now, at this point, you need to go on maybe your Play Store or App Store, download either the Google Authenticator or the uh, Microsoft Authenticator. So let's click on Enable. So as you know, for security reasons, you'll be asked to repeat this process again. Just click on Send Code. So and click on Send Code because we want to change, uh, modify the security authenticator, details will be sent to us. So let's see if we got another mail from EU Prime. Okay, 420, I guess this is different. So you copy. Okay, oh, just confirm. Okay, this is different. Right, so you see this is different. You copy from this and you paste it here. So remember this email is different. The email is uh, we've replaced, we've received a request to change your, you know, TOTP. So this is for the security identity. So when you copy, you confirm. So when you confirm, the next stage is this. Now you would have, this is where you would, you know, either scan, you know, or copy your, you know, authenticator details. Because I'm using phone. It's not showing me uh, the key. At times you might see the key, or at times you might just see this. Now, at this point, you need to scan this with your phone. Now, the next thing for you to do is to open your Authenticator app. So when you open your Authenticator app, what you do is you click on this uh, plus sign. So once you click on the plus sign on your Authenticator app, so the next thing is you click on add code. So when you click on add code, just click on scan a QR code. So when you click on scan a QR code, automatically it will give you an option to scan it. So the moment it scans it, immediately you would see your code. So once you get the code from your phone, what you do is you just copy uh, the code because it will be taking for 30 seconds. So what you do is just type the code. So the moment you type, you just make sure you're fast with it. So the moment you you're done, then you know you've succeeded in uh, you know verifying your code. So let me do that very quickly. One one six two three nine. So I just click on this and confirm. So I've done that exactly. So this is the last part. It means that it has been done successfully. So if you have any question, just let us know. Thanks a lot.